So in this video, I'd like to show you how I made my DIY hydroponic setup made from square UPVC uh, guttering downpipe. Um, it's a very basic system, but it works really well. And we'll go through the process of how this was made. And um, hopefully you can make one as well. So you take a standard piece of um, square downpipe for the uh, gutter for your house. And then you take a drill. You drill a pilot hole. A hole saw. Now we need to drill a mounting hole just there that's so that we can put a roll plug into the wall and screw this up there and it won't leak because the water will just be at the bottom so this will mount it on the wall. the end needs to be capped with something so we can cut a bit of this material here and make a square and cap it off here and you can use normal PVC solvent cement um, because what happens is this stuff will actually melt uh, the UPVC plastic and when you glue the two together they melt together so they become one piece so it's quite a strong glue and then um, then the water won't flow out the end so we just have to cut a neat little piece here and then cut a square to cap both ends of the tube now I found a good way to cut it is just to use an angle grinder with one of these really thin discs on it because um, it doesn't chip or break the plastic, it just kind of melts through it really quickly. Let's give it a go. Now we can simply cut a little square to cap off that end. So this, once we shape it nicely, get it exactly the right shape. So I'll probably just take a bit of the, the edges. And with a bit of luck, we can get that to fit perfectly. This is a bit loose. We'll make a nice tight fitting one. But it's a good example anyway. So you'll simply apply it. This all has to be clean on the inside. And you'll apply some of this uh, solvent, some of this stuff on the inside and on the edge. And the two should melt together nicely. So this is the end capped off and watertight. So you have to do that for all the, all the ends. So what we do is we take one of these um, little fountain pumps. This is a, a USB one that you can just plug into a, um, a USB phone charger. 
generic USB phone charger. Um, for this demonstration, we'll use a, a USB power bank. And um, this will be pumping the uh, nutrient uh, rich water um, to the um, to the hydroponics uh, gutter pipe. So we'll just stick that tube in there so it fits nicely inside. We don't need a high flow rate, we only really need a drip. So it is restricting the flow a bit. So if we submerge that there, and now if we give it 5 volts with our USB power supply. This can now um, supply the nutrients and it can be circulated to the reservoir at the bottom which will have something like a large bucket or drum or something and that'll then gently just drip all the way along the length of the tube to the drain drain down at the bottom then drain down back to the to the um, storage container and then circulate back So this is a diagram of my basic hydroponic setup. And um, as you can see here, you have the little five volt USB powered um, fountain pump, um, which simply just pumps the water up a bit of polyphene tube wedged into the side of this UPVC um, downpipe. And it drip feeds down the roots of these little net, pot, net potted plants, just pick up the water and uh, this uh, PVC uh, pipe is at a slight angle so the water can flow gently downwards and then it drains through this little drain tube here which is just a bit of garden hose drips into the next one which also gently slopes in the opposite direction uh, and um, then it drains through another drain tube which goes back to the um, reservoir and just repeats in a closed loop of course, you can get away with just uh, one um, PVC downpipe, but I think having a double-decker uh, stack like this uh, saves space. Um, but you could just have the one, and this tube can go straight to your reservoir over here. Um, one thing I would say, though, is uh, these little pumps are quite weak. They can't lift water very high. So um, you have to make sure that the maximum height and doesn't exceed what it can pump otherwise the water won't come out the end of the tube I have compensated for that by lifting my reservoir which is just a bucket lifting it up I propped it on top of another bucket and also you can adjust the height of these two here um, so that it matches the maximum height the pump can pump um, I just found it easier to fine tune it by adjusting the height of the reservoir or you can use a more powerful pump these pumps are quite cheap, you can just buy them on eBay. Um, and also, instead of powering it with um, uh, a USB socket, or you can use a, a little solar panel, a little 6 volt solar panel, maybe a 12 volt solar panel. And that's it, that's my setup. So the water runs along here, goes down the drain, drips into here runs all along here all along here and this is the drain back to the reservoir and those two tubes go here and this is the storage container this bucket is just to hold it up in the air and this is the actual bucket that contains the the water with liquid feed So here's the liquid feed and what I've done is the little pump has got a little um, net bag around it that acts as a filter that just stops any grit from going into the pump and I put it onto a little um, a bit of um, foam, floaty foam so that it's off the floor and it always gets clean water. So that then pumps along the polyphene tube and then um, when it drips all the way along the two PVC pipes, this is, goes the drain and the drain then drips back into the container. And it goes to the socket here that has a 
5 volt USB phone charger so it's a USB 5 volt supply and every now and then I just add a bit of this um, powdered soluble plant food um, just a little a tiny little teaspoon half of a teaspoon I put in there don't want to put too much yeah so that's it um, this polyphen tube goes all the way into here this runs at a slight angle slightly off from level drains down here drains in there runs across gravity fed via a drain all the way along back into the container and then circulates in the continuous loop so the great thing is there is no watering required. I just have to check this once in a while to make sure that there's enough water in it. And once in a while, a couple of months, I add some of that uh, soluble water plant feed. And as you can see, if I lift this up, the roots have already gone everywhere. This is just uh, little letters that I have in here. They're still very young. They've only just been um, started not too long ago. But pretty soon I can pick my salad leaves to make a salad. This is a tomato plant I'm trying. Um, I, hopefully I can support it along the wall here once it starts growing. The other thing is these little pots aren't quite long enough to reach the bottom where the water flows. So what I do is I have some of this um, this material stuff, it's like wadding for, for, for it's used in clothing and into in duvets and to padding out jackets and things and clothes. I put some of this at the bottom and it soaks up the water. Then that plant will sit at the bottom and the roots will find the water and eventually it will just, the roots will just go along the bottom. Just to help it along, it wicks the water up a bit. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you can build your own system so that you can grow your own vegetables. So subscribe to my channel so you can see more of these type of videos. Let me know in the comment section if there's any projects for videos that I could help you with and I'll make a video about it. And I'll see you next time.